Um, our next speaker was mentioned earlier on. His name is Justin Lee. His art reflects a fine sense of contemporary design with a splash of Singaporean traditions. How many of you guys are Singaporeans? <laughs> okay. <laughs> His first solo exhibition, uh, titled Double Happiness, A Fantasy in Red, was showcased in 2003, and he has done exhibitions with UOB Art as well as the ASEAN, and has been awarded the ASEAN Art Awards. So let's bring up Justin Lee. Hello to everyone. Welcome to the talk. My name is Justin Lee, Singaporean, Chinese. Um, tonight, I'm going to talk about uh, arts and creativity, and I'm trying to link um, the notion of art as well as creativity. So, and, uh, I'm going to show you some of the past works, and then uh, somehow to show uh, a connection from the past of uh, my past works. Sorry. Okay, um, I started out with Chinese paper cutting. Uh, I love old cultures. Um, not that they are beautiful, but they sent a message across to us. It's like a billboard during those days. Of course, now we have uh, IT and you know, things like that. But during those days, there's only paper. So paper is a form of message and also communications. And then later on, I use that as a, a concept for my artwork. What you see right now is all my paintings. And they do look like Chinese paper cutting, but it's not. So I, I, I try to focus on rates. Whatever I see rates, I just love it the flats, the coke, and this is, this is being inspired in 2005 when uh, the social issue about to build the casino or not, or to build one or two or more. So social issue is always something that trigger out my imaginations, and then I, therefore I put it on canvas. Of course, now we come to the main focus point, which is uh, the I Light Marina Bay artwork. Uh, it's more or less it's a self-portrait about myself. Okay, long before I was a creative person, I was from the Air Force. Any Air Force regular, regulars here? No? Okay, never mind. So it's never, to have a, it's never to have a wrong career or the wrong path. It's okay. So I decided to go back to the art school and then become, you know, I always question about myself in the army. Uh, where are my inner voice? That's why you see the earpiece here. You know, we always listen to the commands. We always say yes, 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 and never say no. And these are the works. And then, uh, apart from being, you know, doing illustrations and paintings, I also move on to 3D works, which is sculptures. So these works are being made uh, in China. Uh, I don't sculpt it, but I just do the uh, design concept. Okay, moving to uh, the icons that I use for the current works, right? It's basically a mix of East and West. So what you see is always something from the past and it's being like a silhouette base. So I'm trying to uh, connect the uh, silhouettes and as well as the Chinese paper cutting. And then, uh, of course, these are the Chinese lady that, you know, where, I mean, uh, why do I use them? If I use someone like a modern lady, you can't see anything at all. But if I use something from the past and the current uh, and then uh, what is happening now, it creates a tension. So you are the one who uh, see it and has a feel to feel about your works. And this is, uh, this is in 2012 uh, 2 with the Asia Civilization Museum where the terracotta comes to town. And so they use that work uh, to re exhibit it with uh, the concept of lights. And if you happen to work around Tanjong Baga, so this is where Crate Road is. So during a lunch break, you can always walk by and see my works. And it's been like, I, I took about one month to complete this. And then, uh, of course, uh, being a painter, we don't just paint, but we have commission works. So trust me, it's we, we do have some other, uh, other ways of making money. And of course, uh, uh, we work very hard for it, and then you're invited to paint three rooms for Majestic Hotel. 
And then if you remember uh, Scots, right, when they tear down, they have this uh, temporary uh, showroom and a, and a gallery space. So I think arts do add values to property as well. So they decided to uh, invite artists uh, to do the show. Oh, this is 2005, National Day. Have you seen this before? No. Never mind. <laughs> this is at Orchard Road. You guys all stay at home, right? So this is a celebration for 2005 uh, National Day. So what happens if you can walk in and then some animation works will you know, happen on the screen? It captures your face. And then this is what I did for... Okay, uh, after that, I move on to carton boxes. You know, carton boxes associate to consumerism, which is what I, I'm trying to convey my message. So these are the things, and then I did on text based like what art is about life, you know, I was once a tree. And um, this, what you see now is very less of the pop art. This is the reason why I go to Japan. I think being, uh, I mean, staying in Japan uh, uh, always like, uh, it, uh, it pushed me to a, a different level of art practice. So don't always stay at your comfort zone. And these are the works that I did and I inspired with the nature when I travel. And uh, why do I use these shoes? Because the studio space, which is the residence studio, is next to a primary school. So I'm trying to do a connection between my art practice and the schools. So uh, art, residence, art residency is always about, you know, you stay in a, uh, in a space and you talk about your art practice within the space area. And I'm actually looking back to, you know, the days where, I mean, those school days that I have. Ask yourself, right, uh, what can you remember during the school days? It's not about what you learned. It's all about who you met during the school days, right? Your best friends or your best lecturers. And then I move on to this, this project. Uh, this is my own practice, yes. So I was, uh, you know, there's a boy, uh, 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 boy or girl, right? Two is enough campaigns in the, six, uh, in the 70s, I think. So, yes. I was once a tree. Um, I always start to question about, about myself. So it's a never ending when you question about yourself because our role plays always changes. So this was what I was inspired when I was in Japan. And trees, oh, thank you.